welcome to another cigar review. Um, this is my first ever cigar review, so uh, please bear with me. Um, this might go a bit not according to plan, but I'm sure we'll get there from start to finish. Uh, today's uh, cigar is one of my all-time favourite Bolivar cigars, um, the Bolivar Corona Extra. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head the actual dimensions of the cigar, but let's just say for the time being it's just a little bit longer than your average Corona, so it's a little bit longer than let's say the Monte Cristo number 4. Um, looking at the cigar, the, it's quite well done, quite, it's wrapped and rolled very well, um, and it doesn't seem as if it's that, um, as if it's been box pressed at all, although it comes in dress boxes to be five, so there's a little bit of flatness there, but overall a decent um, looking Bolivar. Um, I've already cut off the cap, um, a bit silly of me, but however, um, I'm sure you don't want to just see me cutting off the top of the cigar. Boring. So, I'll get started and get, get it light lit up. Um, while lighting this up, I'm going to tell you more about the actual flavour characteristics of the Bolivar. Um, as you probably well know, the Bolivar um, range is like a, from a medium to full. Most of the Bolivar range are in full, but you do have some um, like this actually, which is from like the high end medium to the full, and you've got like some regional editions, and um, which, although they say should be full, it's more of a medium flavoured. So let me just get started lighting. As we're outside, it's kind of difficult to actually light and actually see the flame, so the only thing I can gauge is actually that it's actually getting into starting to burn so I've smoked plenty of these over the years um, and they're just a cracking smoke a bit quick drag so to speak just to see where we are Um, this has just been lit up. Um, this up. You know, the, it's good it's going to be a little bit more hot than usual, so just give it a, you know, a minute or so just for it to calm down before we decide to decide on the actual flavour characteristics. Um, smoking with um, the Bolivar today, I'm actually drinking some Tesco's finest red wine. I don't know actually where the bottle's gone to, actually it's down here. It's a uh, Nero de Vola um, from Sicilia, so it's a uh, Italian red wine. Um, it's nothing too special, it's just a bit of berry flavours. There we go, picture of the bottle there. Um, Bore it down Cardiff Bay. Um, they're on offer of seven quid from down from Eleven's. So I guess if you do like your red wines, you you're like uh, going to, well not the medium price range, I guess the medium of the lower, I guess you can say, um, that might be good for you. Right, going back to the actual Bolivar, let's see what flavours are getting. This is actually, although I said earlier on this is medium to full, this is more in the actual full bracket. A lot of heavy Bolivar like flavours. Tobacco, it's mostly the predominantly the flavours. Usually with these you get more like a, a strong vanilla flavour, but at the moment there's it's just more harsh tobacco than I kind of expected. There's a little bit of licorice there. It's a flavour profile I don't usually get in a Bolivar, but this time I am so. What the heck? So what, if that's the flavour you're getting, that's the flavour you're getting.
Yeah, I think what I'll do here now is smoke it maybe an inch, inch, inch and a half, just to see how the flavours develop and whether the harshness and the, the strength I'm getting at the moment um, kind of dies down a little bit and see what flavours I'm actually getting. So hold on for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hi and welcome back to um, into the second third of the uh, Bolivar Crown Expo that I'm smoking here. Um, as you can see, I've swung down just a little bit, just over an inch into the second, inch and a half into the second, almost into the second inch. So, how's it going? Well, full flavour, dust. There's a lot of like orange zest, strong tobacco, licorice flavours. Uh, I think it's probably this, one of the strongest uh, Bolivar Crone extras I've had from the box I had um, a few months back. Um, box date was like April 09, so it's, you know, it's about two, just over two years old, so it's had time to mellow a little bit, like the, the harsh flavours, um, but still a very strong full-bodied cigar. Um, the ash is holding on pretty well, so and like giving it a little squeeze it's well packed meaning it's well constructed so let me just um, ash off the end cigar give it a little puff yeah that is strong that is a very strong espresso-y flavours as well very dark strong coffee with this like orange zesty twist. Um, very, very powerful smoke. There's a little bit of licorice in the end, um, part of it, but still, um, cigar's not for the faint heart, to be honest. Um, up until I ash that off, the drawers and the, um, the burn of the cigar has been spot on. There's been no, like, construction issues. I haven't had needed to, like, retouch it at all. Um, there's a little bit of a wind which is just fabulous because usually um, when you're smoking outside and there's a little bit of wind the burn starts getting a bit wonky but so far so good can't criticize it at all um, it's very strong in flavors but if you like those kind of this like a punch when it comes to a cigar well this is right up your alley so um, I'm gonna smoke this on a little bit longer get I know into the final third and um, I'll let you know how the flavours, if any, have like changed or like gotten stronger, mellowed out or so forth. I'll be back in. And we're back with the, uh, into the final third of the Corona uh, Extra that I'm smoking. Um, the burn, just a tiny bit. Um, but then nothing to be worried about, to be honest. Um, the wind has picked up, it's getting a tiny bit colder here. Uh, the sun is like going down behind me, but I've got like 20 minutes or so I, I reckon left on this Bolivar. Um, the flavours, they haven't really changed. Um, that strong tobacco, espresso, and like this zinginess, like an orange zest to spice. Um, it's still all there. Um, very full flavoured. Um, wow! Well, if you want something like a nice, a strong, that kind of spirit, a whiskey or something, this would go awesome with it. Um, giving it a rating, I think maybe it maybe it's too strong. I think perhaps um, maybe another year or so of age on this. I think would actually up this like a point or two. But I think at the moment this is quite, a, it's, it's an excellent smoke. Um, I think out of 100, it's going to be around the 90 mark. I think straight up, I think 90, I think is a fair, um, fair mark I would give to it. Um, construction, burn, um, draw, all perfect. Flavours, or I think you expect from a Bolivar. Um, it's, I've been smoking it for a, maybe just under an hour and it's divine, I think. Um, like after a heavy meal and when you're relaxing, I think this would be 
an incredible smoke, I think. Most people who like Patagasses, Bolivars, um, anything in that range would, would love this. Um, in the UK, these re <coughs> retail for about 12 UK pounds. Um, you easily get them online, they're not that difficult to get hold of. They're, they're not like one of the, 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 scarce, the scarce ones that just disappear and come back. I'm sure you can get them easily from any online retailer. Um, so I'm going to finish off the smoke of this now. I um, hope you enjoyed my first cigar review. Um, looking forward to reviewing more of these over the forthcoming weeks and months. Um, hopefully soon I'll see if I can get hold of the regional editions. So I can review those, um, especially the, um, the UK La Flor, um Tucano, um, Short Robusto. I think that would be an interesting smoke to review. Um, so hopefully, and if the British summer um, holds up, I can like review these in, on our site, or otherwise I'll just review them inside. So um, until next time, um, hope uh, whatever you're smoking, Cuban, non-Cuban, hope you're really enjoying them, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.